Hi, good morning. Um, I'm kind of like on Facebook ban, so I can't do my usual live from the pyramid. I've missed several lives from here this week. So it's kind of putting me in a weird vibe with it. So I figured I'd at least do a really quick video with, for you guys to share some good energy and maybe give you guys like a little bit of an energy report of what's going on. Um, I'm liking to joke around lately that I'm in uh, quarantine for non-compliance on my mission, but there's always a little bit of truth when I say these things more than you might know. So I'm kind of um, taking a step back at this moment and it's been giving me a chance because I can't answer any of like my Facebook notifications or messages or use Facebook in any way. So it's given me a minute to step back and to view my projects and everything going on around me from an outside perspective, which I really needed at this time. We're doing these amazing energy shifts and I've also been making huge personal transformations in my own life and with what's going on with me. And I really just, um, demolished everything I have built and worked for in exchange for remaining authentic and embracing myself in the path that I'm meant to be on. And that took a little bit of courage and pushing past fear. And here I am now with a blank slate to create anything that I want. And I have some beautiful spaces to do that in, which is pretty amazing because um, we're about to shift energies once again. I told you guys we just shifted from water into fire and we're about to make some bigger shifts and I'm really excited. So we'll start with this moon energy on Saturday. Um, I'm just coming out of rest mode. I go ahead and I rest up for that week and then I get back to work today. So I'm back to work. I'll be doing a two mints and activations today. Um, starting at the pyramid and working all day long. I'll be getting back to checking my site for readings and getting caught up on it. Um, I got kind of put at a standstill so that I could go ahead and recharge and meditate and um, replenish things around here. So I'm just coming out of that now as you guys should be. You guys should just be coming out of rest mode and hopefully you're charged up. Um, but a lot of people are already ungrounded from this energy. Aries is an intense energy. I have the craziest mix of stars um, in my chart and I also have Aries ascending and it's very important that we remember we learned very important lessons from being warriors and aligning with what we thought was right and the right side and things like that. It really kept humanity trapped in duality for so long. So we have to get out of that warrior mentality, but you've been seeing tons of protests and craziness you know, across the United States that they're not even showing you and people are suddenly kind of getting irritated with things on a deeper level. A lot of people might not be out there protesting and rioting, but on a deeper level, humanity is irritated and frustrated with the way things are going, with the establishments, the system, things around us, and everything going on. Um, and that's really a warrior sign. So you're seeing people be more argumentative, and you're going to see a lot more protests and crazy energy as this moonstorm kind of hits us. It's not even hit us fully. And it's going to be here until at least Sunday. And you're going to see a lot of people rising up against these establishments, systems, things like that. But we have to remember that is not the way to go. This is more about an inner alchemy and a transformation and a bringing of light into these lower frequency kind of places. And it's really important to remember that that will never solve anything. It will just karmically align you to the things that you don't like. So a lot of people are on their mission and they're trying to you know, bring light and awareness to these kind of topics. But I've learned something during my little <laughs> ban that we have to stop aligning and focusing on the things that we don't like because we're just helping strengthen them. So we need to shift our focus back to the positive things in our life, not the negative things that we've been through and things like that because we're here to heal and we're here to, here to love and to shine light on things. We're not here to revisit everything we've been through and to play the victim and to kind of strengthen the very things we hate. So that's what we're learning with this Aries energy. And when this moon hits Saturday, we're also going to shift into Taurus, which is amazing for me because that's my sign, my element. I told you guys a few weeks ago that as soon as we hit Aries, it's kind of home free for me through at least till after Virgo in September. So I'm cool with this energy. I thrive in it and I love it. But Aries is kind of a hard sign. Um, unless you are one, you might not understand that element. While it is a grounding element, it can be an even more intense energy than Aries. So we're really gearing up for some huge shifts. And you're going to be working on personal relationships and romantic relationships. That's why spring hits and then everyone's talking about love and things like that. Because 
Um, Taurus is ruled by Venus. So we're going to see huge shifts in your personal relationships, alliances, your jobs, your relationships. It's going to affect every area of your life, but it will especially affect financial areas as well. So a lot of people are going to be wanting to use this moon energy in Libra and as it's shifting into Taurus for manifesting. Taurus is really a sign that is known for manifesting and materializing things. It is a sign that rules the material and the physical and tangible objects. So really use this energy for focusing on the things that you want. While I've been on my little break, I've been doing major, major, uh, putting major, major energy into manifesting the things that I want into my life. So I've been chilling, daydreaming, and putting energy into things I wanna create right now. And another thing I want to talk about is objects hold energy. So I just moved and anything that I planned on bringing with me, it just kind of didn't work out. I was telling my friend, it just kind of like fell apart or broke or got smashed or like my soon to be roommate, you know, might've borrowed it, whatever it happened to be. But you have to realize that objects hold energy. So I want you to do kind of a mental calculation of what you have in your house right now and how long you've been holding on to certain objects for. Some people are holding, you know, things they've had for generations in their families or things they've had since they were a kid. That stuff you got 20 years ago that you're not using. I'm going to tell you right now that you might want to do a decluttering of your home because it will declutter your energy field, allowing you to manifest more freely. So you might want to do like I did where I had to do an inventory. Like if I'm not using this item now, I'm getting rid of it at this point in my journey. Like if I'm not going to use it this second, I'm getting rid of anything around me pretty much. So I had to do some major downsizing several times on this journey and I'm continuing to, but it's been really freeing energetically. And I noticed as soon as I did this and my friend did it with me, we opened ourselves up so much more for the things that we're manifesting because this energy is um, becoming stagnant in your lives. These objects are holding memories. Like I was telling my friend when I first woke up, I'm really weird about um, touching objects and things like that because I have gifts where I can um, download or view cellular memories based on touching objects. So I could like touch an object of yours and I could download a lot of your memories, anything that had been going on around that object, things like that. So these objects are holding energy that you're carrying and holding on to in your life. So you might want to declutter. You might want to get rid of those clothes you had with your ex-boyfriend. You might want to get rid of those photos from, you know, your family members you don't like childhood things you're hanging on to that are holding negative energy, things like that. I think it's really a time for humanity to get serious about decluttering and purifying things in your life. And remember that your outer space is a reflection of your inner, just as your inner space is a reflection of the, reflection of the outer world. So it's really, really important that you're keeping your house clean energetically. And people are wondering why we have so many blocks manifesting. Um, a lot of people are coming to me still and playing the victim and telling me how broke they are and how things aren't going good. And while that may be true, you guys need to stop speaking these things into existence. Our words are very powerful. Like they are completely spells. Our intent is powerful. That is why there are forces that will go to great lengths to silence us and to silence people because our words are powerful. I'm using mine to try to activate and wake up humanity on a deeper cellular level. And that's powerful. So use your words carefully. Don't speak the very things that you don't want into existence. The law of attraction is very real and at play here. So make sure you're only focusing on positive things. I have to be completely powerful, careful with my, with my thoughts and my energy because it's powerful. So I have to make sure that I'm only thinking about things that I want to manifest. And the, we have so many thought distortions going on. And it's such a popular topic with this Aries energy because, um, there are a lot of spiritual forces at play that can only influence humanity through these thought distortions, things that you need to heal within yourself. Um, so you could already have a thought distortion about someone and enemies are able to kind of bring that out in you. Things that you need to work on, fractured pieces of yourself. Just be aware that humanity is being influenced with a lot of these thought distortions right now and people are really lost in these ego personalities and kind of had to go deeper than all of this. So just be aware that this Aries energy is bringing out a lot of solar plexus kind of chakra issues, things going on, and things with the ego. So a lot of people are kind of stuck in that ego personality thing and having things surface that they have yet to heal with their egos. Just be aware of that. Be working on your solar plexus. The best thing to do is to be doing a lot of self-care. 
I've been doing a lot of cord cutting, baths, eating a lot of high vibe vegan food. After this video, I'll be doing like an attunement and I'll be going to get a lot of high vibe food today and I've been drinking a lot of teas as well. So you should be detoxing, eating better foods, drinking a lot of water. Humanity is about to get activated and upgraded on a huge level and this moon is about balance. And for me, the only thing that you can balance is yourself, your body, and yourself energetically. And when you can come into balance with yourself completely, everything else will just kind of fall into place and come to you in a perfect alignment. So the best thing that you can be doing with this energy is working on more balance. And a lot of people think balance means, hey, I have to work and balance my job and my life and my kids better. And that's balance for me. But real, true, total balance would be balancing yourself energetically and then all those things will just kind of fall into place and happen easier. So focus on your energy and taking care of yourself right now. And with that theme of balance, we know Libra is really going to govern the judicial systems, fairness, um, justice, truth, things like that. So we're going to see a lot of political upheaval as people in this Aries energy are becoming frustrated with these systems and believing that they're not fair and the cause of everything. But I'm always telling people that is such a victim mentality to blame anyone, especially these systems, because we designed them, we created them. For every role that we ever didn't like in this matrix, we lived that role in the past as well. So these very systems and the Illuminati and everything that we hate, that was us as well. We created it and we're here to show people how to rise above it and liberate themselves karmically. So a lot of people are playing the victim about these systems and the worst thing you can do is do that because you're drawing attention to yourself and your past actions in a really crazy kind of way. So we're better off kind of forgetting that remembering our true creator power and rising above it because when we play the victim about these systems we're just pointing out everything we did in the past that we need to heal so we need to kind of rise above that victim mentality of blaming these systems and everything about them because they really have little to do with everything that we're going through here in the here and in the now i understand that these timelines all merge into one and there only is one but they're really impacting us very little we came here to heal um, these past things and we were those systems we came here to help and to heal and to teach and we enjoyed that power and that control and so now a lot of these targeted individuals and people going through it are just paying karmically for the very systems that we created and that we enforced and we set into motion. And only we can break these cycles now by waking up and remembering our past, what really happened and healing it karmically and liberating humanity. So we're gonna see some really powerful shifts as we go into that, um, that Taurus energy. And then we're going to be moving into the mind intellectually very fast after that. So we're seeing a lot of kind of upheavals and then we're going to shift into love real rapidly and then right up into the mind and mental aspects. So we have crazy energies coming at us and it's really important to remember that as um, it warms up as well, we're going to see a lot of geomagnetic storms this summer as well. So you guys thought you were in for a ride last summer. I can't wait for this summer. I'm so excited about it. We're about to start getting hit with crazier and crazier energy because as our bodies are being activated and as we've been activating our DNA strands, our bodies are gonna be able to handle more and more light as they're becoming more and more crystalline. So the energies are just gonna continue to get more and more powerful. And um, a lot of people are always like, well, how long is this gonna take? Can you give me a date? We've already been making huge shifts on a daily basis, you're shifting in and out of parallel realities based on your vibrational frequency, the choices you're making, and the probabilities that you're picking on a daily basis. So we're always making these huge electromagnetic energetic shifts on a daily basis without realizing it. The best thing you guys really can do is keep detoxing, keep drinking distilled water, and try to unplug instead of trying to watch videos and to gather information that way, you're gonna be better off tuning in, meditating, purifying your energy, and activating your own DNA strands so that you can become your own channel. Um, I'm trying to think if I forgot anything. You guys can tell I'm just in a chill mood here, listening to music um, and chilling. Just another day at the Kundalini Cave. If you guys want, you guys can make appointments to see me. I am off of Facebook probably permanently. Like I'll come back to stream my videos. But I've moved to Instagram. You guys can find me under Sparks of Divine Light Healing. I get it's Facebook owned, but I just kind of switched venues and I'm really feeling it. And I'll probably just stay over there at this point because Facebook really, um, I keep watching them, not me so much, but I keep watching the games that they play. 
with the people that make videos around me and share the truth in the news and I'm just not really with it anymore. So I'm chilling on Instagram. You guys can message me on there. Um, I would really appreciate your continued support. If you need me for like Reiki attunements, activations, card readings, whatever, you can go ahead and purchase anything on our site. I'll be checking it just like I always do and emailing you right back. I'm just not able to respond to Facebook messages, but I'm kind of like just chilling here. If you need me, this energy is amazing for um, any kind of energy work. So I'll be here until after the moon for energy work and a cash record readings. You guys can just go ahead and purchase it on the site and I get right back to you. And you can easily find me. Um, I'm just here vibing. Come hang out with me, come vibe with me, check our site out. And I'll be back doing content ASAP. Um, love and light.